Hello students, welcome to SV Technology. Concepts well designed with ER model include following design choices. That is, should a concept be modeled as an entity or an attribute? A concept be modeled as an entity or a relationship? And identifying relationship is that binary or ternary? And is aggregation involved in that or not? Here we are going to discuss first entity versus attribute. Should address be an attribute of employees or an entity? Here we are considering address is an attribute of entity connected to employees by a relationship. Depends upon the use we want to make of address information and the semantics of the data. If we have several addresses per employee, address must be an entity. Here we have several addresses. So since attributes cannot set value, if the structure, city and street etc. is an important, for example we wanted to retrieve employees in a given city, address must be modeled as an entity since attribute values are atomic. Here we can see a diagram related to employees and departments. Employee and departments are related as works in. Here works in does not allow an employee to work in a department for two or more periods means he has to work only one period. Similar to the problem of wanting to record several addresses for an employee. We want to record several values of the descriptive attributes for each instance of this relationship. Here we cannot record several addresses for an employee without a relationship. And here we can see binary versus ternary relationship. If each policy is owned by just one employee, key constraint on policies would mean policy can only cover one department. Here employee is connected with covers and department also connected with covers. Policy is also connected with covers. Means here we are seeing three entities, three different entities are participated in relationship covers. So this is a bad design unable to understand what's going on here. This design will be converted into two binary relations then it will be better design. The relationship between employee and policy will be a relationship and the relationship between dependent and policies will be a relationship. So I have said the department area not the dependents. Okay. So the dependent and policy relation is beneficiary and employee and policy relationship is purchase. In previous example illustrated a case when two binary relationships were better than one ternary relationship. An example in the other direction a ternary relation contracts relates entity set parts, departments and suppliers and has descriptive attributes quantity. No combination of binary relationship is an adequate and here we can see S can supply to P. D needs P and D deals with S. Does not imply that D has agreed to buy 